Bonjour à tous, donc je suis ici à San Diego en compagnie de la légende Randy Couture. Thank you very much Randy for this interview. Yeah, pleasure. Randy, I can't help uh, thinking, thinking about your performance at Dancing with the Stars. Uh, uh, you did pretty well. Was it a good experience for you? It was a very good experience for me. I had a great partner. Uh, it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of work. Uh, we spent, you know, five weeks every single day, five or six hours a day dancing and uh, getting ready for the, for for dance night, for, for Monday nights. And in some ways that felt a lot like getting ready for a fight to me, you know, mentally getting ready to walk out there in front of all those people and do what you train to do. It was a lot like fight night for me, but I had a blast. Were you not anxious before, uh, you know, performing on the stage? I was uh, very calm. I had to kind of tap into that same mental frame of mind that I have for fights and smile and realize I'd done the work and now it's just a function of going out, relaxing, and doing what I what I trained so hard to do, which is exactly my, my approach for fights. So I think my partner, Karina, was a little surprised that I was as calm as I was. <laughs> you uh, came in France uh, for the promotion of uh, The Expendables 3. Uh, it was last summer, correct? Uh, I didn't get to come to France. No? no I, I would have liked to have come to France. It Obviously, was wrong, Doc. last name like Couture, yeah. uh, I would have been happy to come to France. Uh, is it because you have a French oh, origin? I did. I'm sorry, I did. I got to go to Cannes. Yeah. Yes, duh. <laughs> I got to go to Cannes for, for the film festival. It was the first time I've been there. Okay. Uh, I really enjoyed the, the time. I mean, obviously getting to ride with those guys on an armored personnel carrier down, down the croissette w was amazing. Uh, amazing crowd, amazing experience. Uh, I had one day off. Uh, I got to go to uh, St. Paul de Vance, uh, walk around. What a picturesque, beautiful place and, and uh, enjoy a really, really nice meal there amongst, you know, Picassos and, and uh, Matisse and, and some, you know, some very, very famous artwork and had a great, great time. So uh, I, I don't know how I forgot all about that. <laughs> Uh, Couture uh, is your last name. Uh, do you have French origins? Uh, oui, je parle un peu français. Mon, France, mon français est très mauvais. No, that's good. Uh, my, my heritage came to Canada through Quebec oh, uh, from yeah. France. So, right. uh, a long time ago. Uh -huh. And now you have tattooed on your uh, La forearms. Fleur La Fleur de Lis. Yeah. Yeah. This is the French royal, royalty symbol. Right. For, for aristocracy in, yeah. uh, in France. It's <laughs> also on all the street signs in Quebec. Yeah. Uh, So that, that's definitely where my heritage is. Um, I, I studied a little French in high school, uh, but it's not something I get to use very often. And, and you know, that kind of rote memory skill is something you have to keep sharp all the time. So uh, I, I remember very, very little, unfortunately. A few days ago, we went uh, to visit uh, the Extreme Culture Academy in Las Vegas. Oh, okay. er Eric welcomed us over there. Oh, good. It's a beautiful gym. Uh, it's amazing. Do you still train? Yeah, I do still train. Obviously, my son and, and the group of guys that I have training there for fights, uh, I, I, I like to contribute and help them any way I can, get on the mat and help them out here and there when I'm when I schedule permits. But I, I obviously, I, ha I can't let myself go. I've got, you know, other duties in front of the camera that require me to be very physically fit. Uh, and so training is a, is a huge part of my life. Uh, I think if, if you took that away from me, I'd probably go nuts. <laughs> Uh, right now, uh, two uh, other legends of the sport, Stefan Bonner and Tortiz, uh, will face each other uh, in the Bellator. Uh, do you still think, think about fighting again? No, actually, I'm, I'm very comfortable and, and happy with the decision I made to retire when, I'm, when I made that decision. It took me a while to come to terms with that. It's not easy, an easy thing to, to let go of. Obviously, I think Stefan and, and Tito are both examples of that. Uh, that fighting spirit doesn't go away easily. So uh, I think they may both be past their prime, but I think because of that and where they're both at, it makes for a very interesting matchup. They're still huge names in the sport. Mm -hmm. They can certainly talk a good game, both of them. So it'll be interesting to see who, ha who has their way in the cage that night on November 15th. And what is your opinion about the new generation of MMA fighters? I, I think they're amazing. I, I think those, those kids, basically grew up watching me compete and saying that's what I want to be and and now uh, with disregard to belts or any other backgrounds they've just studied solely mixed martial arts and being well-rounded fighters and and we're seeing guys pull off amazing technique and do a lot of amazing things w with a ton of athletic ability and and an intensity uh, and a level of athleticism that we haven't seen mm -hmm. uh, and it just continues to grow and evolve and get better and stronger all the time Do you have uh, other projects uh, in mind uh, for the future? Uh, 
actually, yes. I, I'm getting ready to uh, shoot a TV character for Hawaii Five O here in the U.S. And we're in the process of trying to develop a TV series uh, based on the old style of wrestling, catch as catch can. So hopefully we're successful in that, and you'll get to get the chance to see some of that old wrestling. Okay, good. Thank you so much for this interview, Randy. It was such a pleasure to have you, and uh, we wish you the best uh, for, for for your future. We'll see. <laughs> Thank you.